Hi, it's Ed Butowski. This could be one of the most important video messages I've sent out. What's happened recently is the stock market has moved significantly higher. You know, I, I would say we're probably at our second or third highest overvaluation in history. And what people are doing, what you might be doing, is looking and saying, I want to get some fixed income. I want to reduce my exposure in the equity markets. And then when you look at the bond market, you're looking at very little in terms of interest rates for one to two, three, five, ten year paper. You look out and say, well, let me see if I can get an A rated uh, five year paper. And you're saying, well, my goodness, it's one and a half percent. That's all I'm going to get or two percent. So what you're doing, and I'm not saying you're doing it, but if you have done it, I want to throw some caution to the wind. And at the same time, if you're thinking about doing it, look at this. You need to look at what is called the duration calculation. And uh, I've sent you the link to this as well. The longer you go out in terms of maturity when you're buying bonds, the greater risk you run if interest rates rise. Now, one little side note. Financial advisors get paid more money when they put you in bonds that are longer than shorter. So if you have a, an advisor who's recommending long dated maturities, 20 years, 25 years, ask the question, what are you making? Okay, make sure they don't make a tremendous amount of money at all. Okay, and that's a whole different discussion. But you're going to hear them start to make recommendations for really long dated paper. This is, I believe, in history, again, another historical moment, the worst time to buy long term paper because if interest rates rise, they will go down in value. Well, guess what? There's nowhere else for interest rates to go but up. Watch what happens. Use this calculator. Go in and let's say you have a yield to maturity on a bond of 2.3%. The coupon is what's printed on it. So you might find and say, hey, here I have a bond that has a coupon of 4% and a yield to maturity of 2.3% and it's not going to mature for another 15 years. Well, watch what happens. Right down here, if interest rates rose 1%, all right, right here, that bond would go down in value 11.66%. If the bond had more time to maturity, it would go down almost 15%. Well, think for a moment. 15% it would go down based on the bond today getting yourself 2.3% a year. It's not even worth it. Look how much risk you're taking. And I just threw in these numbers. But what you should do is go through every single bond that you're looking to buy or have bought. And any that are longer than seven years, you should really look strongly at maybe getting out of. All right, because here's another example. If you had seven years to maturity and your yield to maturity was the same as your coupon, if interest rates rose 1%, the bond would go down 6%. Now, that's not a horrible scenario, but you need to be aware of it. Study this. Understand this. If you want me to go through this with you personally, give me a call. But don't ignore this message. It's very important because there have been scenarios there have been times where interest rates have risen 200 basis points. And when that happens, I will tell you, you're going to be hating life at that point. So, words of caution. Use this calculator. If you don't understand it, give me a call at 972-897-0197. And remember, use the yield to maturity up here. Because there are some bonds. I saw one the other day. 1.98 had a coupon... Yeah, I'll leave it at four, going out 20 years. Well, if interest rates rose 1%, 14.7% down. Thanks for your time.